since you have experience reading prose passages, what you're doing in your head may be happening so naturally that it's hard to think about or break it down. So in order to better understand what you do in your head when you read, let's look at how what you do in your head changes with a different kind of passage. So let's look at a passage that is the most different from the prose, and that would be the natural science passage. Natural science passages can cover a wide variety of topics, earth science, biology, chemistry, physics, environmental science. The important thing to keep in mind is that you do not need to have any prior knowledge of the subject matter in order to answer the questions that are asked at the end of the passage. The key here is that the natural science passage has a totally different purpose than a story or a prose passage does. The natural science passage's main purpose is to inform. Therefore, you must focus on totally different elements as you read it. You have to pay attention to the structure of the passage, the main idea of each of the paragraphs. The natural science passages are filled with details, too many to digest. So as you read, you're asking yourself, how is this passage structured? You want to note the elements that support the argument or premise in the passage, as well as the counterexamples. But what you're really noting is where do they occur in the passage? So how do you stay focused while reading? Well, you want to be on the hunt for transition words. Is the author about to veer in a different direction? Share an alternate point of view? Give evidence to support a conclusion? Or perhaps draw a conclusion based on the evidence given? This is what transition words tell us. But while we are focusing on these aspects, we are also reading quickly. In fact, this is probably the fastest you will read out of all the other types of passages. So we keep talking about what is happening in our head. How is it that you can read so quickly? Well, you're going to skim the passage. Now, skimming is a skill that some students seem to sort of grasp as an idea but don't really know how to execute. So let's talk about what skimming sounds like in your head. In the natural science passage, on the other hand, you're only going to say or hear the important words in the sentence while you blah, blah, blah over the details. You want to hear your brain voice read the topic sentence, but not necessarily all the details. And remember, your brain moves way faster than your mouth. So if you imagine that your brain is moving quickly over these words, say these details, lots of details, then there would be no way that your mouth could keep up. Instead, your mouth would make sort of a mumble sound. But hearing or saying with your brain voice the key words or key sentences, you're indicating to yourself this is what's important. Okay, so to recap... When reading the natural science passage, you do not need to understand the passage completely, but you do need to understand the main idea or the argument. You are reading at a quicker pace that will allow you to skim the passage by hearing with your brain voice only the important words or topic sentences, and the rest of the time you are mumbling through the details.